um, today on our Sea Light AV Club, we have the Hot Sardines here. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Hi. Yeah, I'm Miss Elizabeth with the and Hot I'm, Sardines. And I'm Evan Bibbs Palazzo. Yes. Awesome. And do you guys want to say what you do in the band? I mean, you're the, you're the band leader, right? You're the I'm pianist. the band leader on stage and the pianist, mm-hmm. and we're both co-founded the band together. Awesome. And I'm the, uh, the front woman and the singer, and I play some washboard. Awesome. Sounds and great. I co-founded the band with this guy. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. In here in New York City, right? We are. We're cool. New York City based. Nice. Yeah. How do you guys like it here? Has it treated you well? <laughs> it has treated us well in terms of in terms of uh, turning a hobby into an accidental an accidental job. It's been really fun uh, playing this music in New York because nice. this music has such a history in this city. Too. Definitely. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, jazz. So. Yeah. And it's, been it's great. a great it's a great city for music mm-hmm. and uh, for musicians. Absolutely. So. And Bibbs is from here. Yes. Oh, that's great. Babes is a New Yorker. Where, uh, where from? West 74th Street. Oh, wow. Yes. Born nice. there. Right in Manhattan? Yep, right in Manhattan. Uh, but uh, someday I'll, I'll hopefully get back to that neighborhood. Yeah. But uh, it's a beautiful neighborhood. Awesome. Yeah. And where are you guys living at now? I live in uh, Gramercy, uh, cool. First Avenue in the 20s. Mm-hmm. I live in Brooklyn, in Park Slope. Oh, awesome. Nice. Yeah. You guys play out there a bunch too, um, Brooklyn. We have. We've played at Barbes, great club cool. uh, in uh, in Brooklyn, and uh, and uh, yeah, we we've we've hit Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens. We nice. just haven't played Staten Island yet. Nice. That's Gotta true. Get there Gotta one get the day. On there, Gotta yeah. get there. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Before well, they yeah. raise the rates on the ferry. It's true. That's the first thing. It's, it's true. not going to be free anymore. Oh really? Yeah, they're saying that. It, oh, it wow. can't happen. It's. I don't think it will. <laughs> that's bad news. Yeah, that's not acceptable, yeah, that's, really. That's, <laughs> that's headlining stuff yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you guys had a show mm-hmm. at we the did. Plus on Rouge we did. last night. It went over really well. Um, it was a lot of fun. That was in support of the upcoming LP. It's true. It's true. We have a record coming out um, on uh, DECA and next uh, next week, October 7th. Cool. And last night was the first of two record release shows that we're going to have. Uh, yeah. It was at Le Poisson Rouge. Awesome. Um, and then the next one for our international yeah. release is... Is at Joe's Pub on, on November 5th. There cool. you go. And you guys did a residency yes. there, right? We, we did. did. Oh. We did. We sold were out so it fortunate. Sold out a bunch, right? We sold out, I believe, it's 15 I so. straight shows at Joe's Pub. Wow, um, congratulations. Very thank proud you. Of that. Thank Man. you. It, it was... Uh, just warm and wonderful. Joe's Pub is a fantastic. Um, it's a fantastic venue. The public is a fantastic mm-hmm. organization, and we're really excited to to just have a little pinky in in what they do. Yeah, very supportive to our yeah. musicians, and it's just a wonderful atmosphere there. Yeah, yeah. and great cocktails. Ooh. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's the library upstairs to continue plugging. It's a great hang up there. There's a they whole don't other pay bar us and restaurant. To, to plug, oh, really? But yeah, it's people great. Uh, yeah, need we, to check that out. Every time yeah. we play there, we have an after party upstairs, yeah. and we. That's where we get to sample all the cocktails. Yes. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Wow, that sounds sounds great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so you have the LP coming out on October 7th. Uh, mm-hmm. It's on DECA. And you guys put out a single from that. Yes, we did. Uh, the lead track, uh, By Mir Bis Duchesne, mm-hmm. which has a great story with it, if I could. Because, yeah, please, um, please. The label Decca's first huge hit was mm-hmm. the Andrew Sisters in 1937. Yeah, I think it was 37. Who did yeah. that song? Oh, cool. And this is the the next time they're doing it. So it was a coincidence because it happened to be one of our songs we did when we hooked up with them, and mm-hmm. turned out kind of like kismet to have it <laughs> have that in common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So That's we're awesome. very excited about it. I think it's a it's a fun song. Yeah, it, yeah. it really is a fun song. You guys sound great on it. Too. Thank, you. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, and and to continue the New York love, we were yeah. fortunate to record a music video for it inside the vintage subway cars at the Transit Museum in Brooklyn. That's so cool. Uh, which is really yeah. cool. We did yeah. this video uh, with Alex Peacock, the director, and we basically threw a big dance party in mm. the subways uh, and filmed it. That's yeah. great. really fun. Yeah. And Ms. Awesome. Elizabeth hails a cab in the opening scene mm-hmm. to go to the subway. <laughs> so it's a really nice, I think. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, we had a good time. Yeah. We had a good time <laughs> making that video. I mean, you guys sound like girls pretty fun bunch, actually <laughs> well we do have fun I think that's really important to the you music have to. It's yeah, a, the, that's the, what makes it work I mean absolutely especially absolutely. With, what, with what you guys do it, it has to be fun it has to be light hearted it has to be well I guess yeah. not necessarily light hearted but I guess it has to be it has to have a lot of energy behind it it's energy fun. it's fun it certainly has a drive mm-hmm. you know and uh, yeah we feel it and we just want the audience to also feel it that's, yeah. that's the infectiousness of mm-hmm. When we met and started playing around, playing playing music together, I think the first thing we agreed on was that 
uh, was the, the, the most important part of this music is the joy that's in this music inherently, the joy that you feel playing it and listening to it and bringing that, like just gathering musicians together and people mm -hmm. together who, who really get that yeah. and who, who, who believe as we do that, that this music, this music is magical if you can bring, bring the joy to it. If, if you can find the joy in it and bring the joy to it and that's really that's really kind of one of our guiding things yeah. and I think that really comes through thank music. you thank you it's very nice. much yeah very thank apparent, you. very apparent. cool on the uh, on the album too you guys do uh, pay a little homage to Fats Waller too don't you yes. do nice Fats yeah. is our one of our one of our big big influences the first guy we hit on when we first met as like our you know one of our one of our icons and mm -hmm. I mean no one was more joyful than mm -hmm. Fats Waller no. no one was having more no. fun That's great. and more booze at the piano right. than That's Fats Waller <laughs> yeah, we'll never uh, match him in either category no, huh? no we never, <laughs> <laughs> never but we try we do try yeah uh, in both categories so, oh, no yeah. uh, well our slogan is actually liquor drink and jazz sometimes <laughs> but true. uh True. He was a monster and a uh, pianist and just a joyous person. He only lived a short time, but he mm -hmm. certainly wrote, no one really, everyone thinks of him more as this wonderful performer and pianist, yeah. but some of his compositions are incredibly uh, important in jazz, mm -hmm. I think, and, and really are spinal to a lot of the themes that music took from them, including bebop to some extent, which oh, wow. kind of came right after him. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, myself included, think he... Uh, he had something to do with the uh, coming of bebop, but he passed away right before that. Mm -hmm. And I wonder what would have happened if he had lived longer, mm -hmm. and, and how modern jazz would have maybe changed a bit mm -hmm. than what it, it was. But yeah, he's he's a wonderful he's a human biggie. being and musician. Yeah, he's a good person to pay homage yeah. to on an album. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's great. Cool. So the record comes out October seventh, where you can pre-order it on iTunes or you can, Amazon. You Amazon, can pre-order yeah. it on Amazon. If you go to our website, to hotsardines.com, mm -hmm. you can find a, a link to uh, hear the stream over the course of the next week. They're cool. streaming it free uh, oh, as wow. a feature okay. on Amazon, as, and then you can pre-order it. Or you can go to our Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, just facebook.com slash hotsardines, and we're plugging it on there, too. Yeah. Uh, Sounds awesome. And it ships out. It ships out on October 7th and we will be in I believe Idaho, Idaho. Falls Idaho, yes, yes, Idaho right. Falls uh, on October Idaho. 7th yeah, yeah. You, guys, you guys embark on a 50 plus city tour yes. that is correct uh, starting this month starting, starting on Friday, Friday <laughs> even. yes cool. sorry Bob yeah. yeah we fly to Seattle yeah. on Friday and then we Great start working our way down the coast and yeah. then we'll be hitting all, all parts all parts and even yeah. going over to Europe for a little bit in November oh wow where in Europe play the London Jazz Festival oh, yes. so cool. uh, and uh, the Duc des Lombards in Paris oh say that again the Duc des Lombards <laughs> <laughs> So the we're dude super, that super excited. I can't talk. Yeah, I, I couldn't. Even, I, I had to pronounce the English version to you guys of the single you released. <laughs> oh well, I even, I you know, in the proud it. Andrew yeah. sisters tradition. Well, Miss Elizabeth, with an uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Elizabeth sings a good number of songs in French, mm -hmm. and we do a lot of band callbacks mm -hmm. sometimes. <laughs> and it's pretty hard for her to keep a straight face, which yeah. is awesome. okay because uh, when we we do the French callbacks, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's pretty pretty brutal it's for great. the language but uh, I don't even know if people understand us do you think they do? I think that the idea gets yeah. across okay yeah I'm originally from France yes. so oh, yeah. I, okay. uh, I I I we I love uh, including French stuff in the in the rep when we can and then and it's true I can't resist the opportunity to get all the boys singing in French <laughs> yeah I just can't resist it's it. not, not hard to convince us no yeah, it's a very fun thing no yeah. it's very yeah. fun and you sing and so you sing some of the songs on the album and it, uh, last night too uh, in French True. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's oh, right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Fluent? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's I mean, actually you were, you were, my. You were born there. You <laughs> it's have her first language. language. It's actually that's, that's my first language. Yeah. <laughs> English is the second language yes, here. It is. Yeah. Wow. It is, sorry it is. about that. <laughs> your thick French accent makes it so obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a couple of tunes on the album uh, in French, including uh, Zazu, which oh, is yeah. a um, a great Dixieland number uh, that Evan arranged and. Um, I wrote some French lyrics for this tune "Sweet Sue," mm -hmm. which is a which yeah. is a great jazz classic. And then, uh, and then we do a uh, "Petite Fleur," which is originally well, a lot of people uh, have recorded it, but it's a Sidney Bechet tune. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I love Henri Salvador's version of that, mm. um, a great great French crooner. So mm -hmm. we 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 wanted to pay homage there. Yeah, "Sweet Sue" for all those people out there who know the song. It's a great song. Great it has song. new lyrics. 
the yeah. la- additional lyrics by yeah. Ms. Elizabeth in French, yeah. and uh, it's, we're very excited about that. Yeah, well, that sounds like it was a know, fun one. Sounds great. Yeah. awesome. Well, um, I don't think I have any more questions for you guys, but and we're know, out of here. See you later. Awesome. Yeah, you guys <laughs> take off right now. But so, no. just again Thank for you. everybody, yeah, your yes. album comes out October seventh. It's called the Hot Sardines, just Hot like Hot Sardines. the band. Awesome. Uh, October seven, <laughs> um, and we are the Hot Sardines. If you come see us, you'll see more than just us. We're an eight-piece band, but yes. we were here today to talk to you. But awesome. come yes. see us. Yes. There's brass. There's tap dancing. Oh, tap dancing. There's, yeah. there's drums. It's a whole party. It's a whole ensemble. It's a whole party. Well, thank you so much for coming in, guys. Thank Thanks you for very having much. us. Yeah, yeah. All right.